Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Alrighty now, folks, grab your popcorn and put on your best judgmental faces, because do I have a story for you today that's more dramatic than a soap opera season finale? It's time to dive into the latest chapter of the Meghan Tries to Stay Relevant saga. And let me tell you, this one's a real doozy. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, before we jump in, let me just say, what I'm about to share with you is so cringeworthy, so absolutely jaw-dropping, that it makes all of Megan's previous attempts to claw her way back into the spotlight look like child's play. Are you ready? Are you sure? Okay, here we go. Our favorite former royal, the one and only Meghan Markle, has been caught with her hand in the cookie jar of desperation once again. And this time, she's dragging her former co-star, Patrick J. Adams, into her web of PR madness. That's right, folks. Meghan's latest stunt is about as subtle as a sledgehammer to a crystal vase. It's a desperate plea for attention that fools absolutely no one. Picture this. There's Patrick J. Adams minding his own business, living his best life post-suits, when suddenly, ping, a text message pops up on his phone. And who's it from? None other than the Duchess of Delusion herself, Meghan Markle. Now, let's rewind a bit. Remember when Meghan and Patrick played the oh-so-cute couple Rachel and Mike on Suits? Back when Meghan was just a regular actress dreaming of bigger things? Well, apparently those days are looking pretty good to her right about now. Because this text? It's not just a friendly, hey, how are you? Oh, no. This is Megan in full-on networking mode, folks. According to Patrick himself, and bless him for spilling this tea, Megan reached out to congratulate him on his new Suits Rewatch podcast. How sweet, right? Wrong. Because in true Megan fashion, she couldn't just leave it at a simple congratulations. Oh no, she had to go and ask how she could help in any way. Now let's break this down, shall we? Meghan Markle, former actress turned royal turned whatever she is now, is offering to help with a podcast about a show she used to be on. A show she left behind when she thought she was too good for it. A show that, let's be honest, is probably the peak of her acting career. Can you smell that? It's the stench of desperation, my friends. It's the unmistakable odor of a has-been trying to cling to any shred of relevance she can get her manicured hands on. Uh, but here's the kicker. Meghan seems to think she's some kind of podcast expert now. Why? Because she had that Spotify deal that crashed and burned faster than her royal career? Oh honey, having a few celebrities on your show before getting the boot doesn't make you the queen of podcasts. It just makes you another failed Spotify experiment. And let's talk about the timing, shall we? Megan's reaching out now after years of silence. Years of not bothering to keep in touch with her former co-stars. Years of playing at being royal and then playing at being a Hollywood power couple with her pet prince. But now, when she needs a bit of that suits magic to rub off on her tarnished image, Suddenly she's all, how can I help? And it's pathetic, really. It's like watching a washed up high school quarterback trying to relive their glory days at the 20 year reunion. Megan, sweetie, the suit ship has sailed. It's gone, it's over, move on. But you know what really gets me? The audacity, the sheer unbridled gall of this woman. She walked away from suits to become a royal. She walked away from being a royal to become, what exactly? A professional victim, a full-time thorn in the royal family's side? And now she thinks she can just waltz back into her old life like nothing happened? Eh. Sorry, Megan, but Hollywood isn't buying what you're selling. Your act is old news. Your poor me routine is played out. And trying to piggyback on your former co-star's success? That's just sad. Let's not forget, this is the same Megan who ghosted her own father. The same Megan who turned her back on the royal family. The same Megan who's been burning bridges left and right since she decided she was too good for the life she had. And now she wants to play nice with Patrick J. Adams? Please, and I can just imagine how that conversation went down in the Adams household. Patrick probably showed the text to his wife, and they had a good laugh about it. Can you believe it? They probably said. Meghan Markle offering to help us, as if we need her help, as if we want her help. Because let's be real, what exactly can Meghan offer? Her podcast was a flop. Her Netflix deal has produced what exactly? A whiny documentary that no one cared about? She's not exactly setting the entertainment world on fire, is she? No, what Megan's really offering is drama, controversy, the kind of tabloid attention that might give a little boost to a rewatch podcast, but at what cost? Having Megan involved in anything these days is like inviting a tornado to a picnic. Sure, it'll be exciting, but is it worth the destruction? And poor Harry. Remember when he used to be the fun prince, the cheeky ginger we all loved? Now he's just... What? Megan's errand boy? 
her personal assistant, the guy who holds the camera while she records yet another tone-deaf video about how hard her life is. It's a fall from grace so spectacular it makes Icarus look like he just tripped over his shoelaces. But you know what the saddest part of all this is? Megan actually had a chance to do something different. She could have used her platform, her voice, to really make a difference. She could have been a breath of fresh air in the royal family, bringing a new perspective and a modern touch. Instead, she's turned herself into a cautionary tale, a where-are-they-now segment waiting to happen. And the Hollywood crowd? They see right through it. They know the difference between a real star and a wannabe. They respect actors who put in the work, who pay their dues, who stick with their craft even when times are tough. And Megan? Well, let's just say the words opportunist and user come up a lot in L.A. cocktail parties these days. But here's the real tea, as the kids say. Megan can try to worm her way back into Hollywood all she wants. She can send texts. She can offer help. She can try to remind everyone that she used to be an actress. But she'll never be what she was before. She'll never have that fresh-faced appeal, that rising star quality. Because now, all anyone sees when they look at her is drama. Controversy. A liability. Patrick J. Adams and Sarah Rafferty, they're doing just fine without Megan. Their podcast is a celebration of a show they loved, a chance to connect with fans and reminisce about good times. They don't need Megan's brand of chaos in their lives, and judging by their polite but non-committal responses to questions about her involvement, they know it too. So here's my message to Megan on the off chance that she's reading this, and let's be real, she probably is. What else does she have to do all day besides Google herself? Megan, honey, it's time to give it up. The Hollywood comeback isn't happening. The world has moved on. You're not Rachel Zane anymore, remember? You gave that up. You walked away. So maybe it's time to find your own path. Because this whole desperately trying to stay relevant routine, it's not a good look. And to Patrick J. Adams and the rest of the Suits cast, stay strong. Don't let Megan's desperate pleas for attention derail what you're doing. You've got a good thing going with your podcast. Don't let her tarnish it with her particular brand of drama. As for the rest of us royal watchers and Hollywood gossip enthusiasts, well, we'll be here popcorn in hand, ready to dissect every desperate attempt by Megan to claw her way back into the spotlight. Because let's face it, as long as Megan's out there trying to play celebrity, we'll never run out of material. So keep your eyes peeled, folks. What will Megan do next? Will she start showing up uninvited to Suits cast reunions? Will she try to pitch a Rachel Zane spin-off series? Will she start wearing her old Suits wardrobe around LA, hoping someone recognizes her? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure. As long as Megan keeps playing this game of Hollywood hopscotch, I'll be here, ready to call her out on every cringeworthy, desperate move. Until then, my fellow royal watchers, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your skepticism firmly in place. Because in the world of royal watching, the truth is often stranger than fiction. And the fiction is pretty darn strange to begin with. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.